<laughs> Honestly, though, I see no reason we can't. <laughs> we in the streets, we on your neck or wrists, and we can easily be all over your house, just like those guys. There's just one problem. But Digimon Survive finally releasing in just about a month. It's got me thinking about the future again. You know, when I think of Pokemon, it just kind of gives me this worldwide feel. You know, it's not too Japanese and not too American. You know, right, right, right in the middle. You know what I'm saying? Based off of Digimon's actions in the past couple months, we can kind of see they're making an attempt to come more overseas. That's cool, but like, bro, <laughs> we got to pick up the pace, guys. Come on now. Like, give me English voices in the games and the shows everywhere, bro. And I'm assuming... This time around, we could get some better writers. Just, just a thought. I am the ultimate evil, complete with hot and cold running water. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Maybe not. Maybe not. Let's just keep these guys. Now, if I was honest, I'm actually not that stressed about no English stuff. But overall, I think it just might be important and needed for the culture, you know? If you think about Pokemon games, they don't even have voice acting to begin with. So if we were to add an English dub, that's an easy dub. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. I will say that when it comes to the anime, we definitely need English, no matter what. That's the only way to grow an audience faster in the West. There's a lot of promise in this area. After CyberSuit did well, their next investment, Digimon World Next Order, had English voice acting. It's been seven years. I hope I haven't lost it. All in all, bruh, all the signs lead to about a 65% chance that we're gonna get English voice acting in the next Digimon story game. That's my synopsis after careful, very careful analysis. Listen, I'm like a doctor in this shit. I feel like there's just some games that I don't know, like they, they just like tickle, tickle my feathers, you know, tickle my fancy. Is that, is that, is that the saying? When new games come out, they just have this way to, to get you emotionally invested. The game might not even look that good at the start, but it's just like, there's a few areas that grab your interest. I don't know about y'all, but I was describing Pokemon. <laughs> the hype created by new Pokemon game announcements is unmatched. We all anticipate seeing the main character design, the starters, the region, and last but not least, the game. It's the same damn game with just those aspects switched around. What did I say earlier? I see no reason we can't be. What's the title of this video? All right, so boom. New Digimon story game on the way. In one of the announcements, we see Dan Devimon as, you know, one of the villains. Hype. People who haven't watched the Adventure 2020 reboot, confused, asking questions. People who have watched the 2020 reboot, excited, answering questions. Vibe. Announcement 2 happens. Starter time, baby! Beamon, Harrismon, Gammon. Oh my god! Uncontrollable hype. I'm losing my shit. Views? Which equates to awareness. Leading into announcement number three. Perfect. The game is shown. And it's the best shit ever. Way better than oh! And you know what's next. Fire. But to come back to my main point, by announcement three, as long as the game doesn't look like dog doo-doo, which it won't, we've already won at this point. The goal was to generate hype, you know what I'm saying? And from there, the community is able to flourish with their theories and all that other jazz. Bar for bar, bro, word for word, we have everything Pokemon does that puts them at the top. To the top. And we could hit a lesser known demographic due to the key differences that Digimon has over Pokemon. We got mature tones. Our games can and have had English voice acting. We're on competent consoles and we're not afraid to come to PC. We have worthwhile stories and really the only thing we're missing is a budget.
worthwhile stories. <laughs> That's a subjective statement. And I feel like there's just one piece that makes the minimalistic nature of Pokemon games okay. And that's like their custom character creation. Now, older games didn't really have any custom character creation and those stories are more intricate in my opinion. But I feel like as of late, their stories have been getting simpler while their customization has been getting better. I mean, if you think about it, Pokemon game characters are technically characters in the Pokemon universe, but in the games, they're technically you. I feel like Cyber Sleuth was trying to do that, but bro, I'm t it just wasn't working. <laughs> What's it working now, bro? We need more of this. And I know we could do it better, bro. Digimon games always have like a very defined story about either a group of characters or a singular character. It's never you. And it's through that that Bandai basically kind of uses that as an excuse to not give us good or any customization. But let's be real. Obviously, it's still going to work. Digimon Survive is the exact same structure as Digimon Adventure. And I'd bet the new story game is going to be similar to Cyber With all these different styles of Digimon games, you know, maybe it's better we have a defined story. You know, I feel like it keeps things fresh but come on bro let me customize my boy bro i'm trying to get some trip bro boy, bro boy, bro boy, bro boy. speaking of drip that costs money the money that bandai has but won't share with your boy we heard it all throughout digimon con 2022 that boy habu was like bro give me money how habu what are we supposed to buy bro boy if Digimon can continue to grow and generate more money, that's the golden ticket, as obvious as it sounds. The only way to increase the chance of more revenue is by increasing your investment. At the end of the day, this overly long buildup to Digimon Survive was just a hiccup. As long as the game is good, bro, forget the past. Let's just act like it never even happened. We'll see if my theory of their eventual success comes true. Because at the end of the day, bro, it's a win-win for everybody. With more moolah, we can get more innovative games. Like, think about the variety we already get right now. Now, imagine that with some DBZ level budget or even big. As the community grows, more creators arise, you guys have more to watch. There you go. But make sure you don't freaking forget me, bro. Damn, y'all be switching up like that real quick, bro. That's crazy, bro. I yeah. better be famous hey. at that point. Thanks for watching. Hope you coming back soon. That's soon. It's the boy Jam. I'm the squad. It's the tune. Hey. Always feeling great. See me smiling hey. in the room. Hey. I've been getting to the money ever since I left the room. Hey. Hey. How you doing? What's the word? What's the move? What's the, we the J squad. So please make room. Make room. I always hydrate. And I'm eating on my plate. Thinking about the past. I can see this is my fate.